How would you ping a remote computer with 5 packets using PowerShell? Answer. Again, this is basic stuff. I wouldn't get caught up in ideology. The good old ping. X is perfectly valid, as long as the candidate knows the option to specify 5 packets. If you really want the more PowerShell test connection, then ask. I just want the command to return $true if the ping is successful and $false if it is not. 2. What is the function of the $input variable? Answer. The function of the $input variable enables the PowerShell functions for accessing the data which is coming from the pipeline. 3. What do you think is Microsoft PowerShell? Answer. Microsoft PowerShell is a command line shell and scripting language built on .NET. It helps system admins and power users to quickly manage OS. Windows, Mac OS and Linux, and processes. 4. Define the key features of PowerShell. Answer. The prime characteristics of Microsoft PowerShell can be summed up as follows. 1. PowerShell is a scripting environment. 2. PowerShell commands are customizable. 3. The programming language isn't text-based. 3. It's object-based. 5. What makes up the variables in PowerShell? Answer. Variables contain objects, integers, and strings. 6. What is your understanding of CMDLet? Answer. CMD let our commands scripted in languages such as PowerShell we be a C-sharp. 7. Are you aware of PowerShell loop? Answer. When repetitive tasks are automated using PowerShell, it is called PowerShell loop. 8. Can PowerShell scripts be created for the deployment of SharePoint components? Answer. If the web part is created employing VS2010, SharePoint components can be deployed with the help of CTRL plus F5. Features of web part can be activated through PowerShell script. 9. What is your idea about comparison operators in PowerShell? Answer. Comparison operators in PowerShell compare values. Comparison operators can be classified into four types match, equality, replace, and containment. To declare variables, EQ comparison is used. Similarly, LT is used for less than, GT for greater than, and not equal is denoted by NE. 10. What is the use of the PowerShell pipeline? Answer. When we have to join two statements, we use the PowerShell pipeline. In this case, one statement's output emerges as the second statement's input. 11. What is PowerShell's get service status function? Answer. The functions of get service status enable filtering of window services. PowerShell lists the services that are running also the services that are stopped through scripting. 12. Since you mentioned scripting, define what scripting in PowerShell is. Answer. PowerShell files contain an array of commands, where each command appears in separate lines. When using text file, the file name will have the PS1 extension. PowerShell script can be run by 1. Typing commands in text editor. 2. Saving file with the PS1 extension. 3. Executing the file. 13. Name the different types of variables in PowerShell. Answer. Following are the three types of variables in PowerShell. 1. User created variables. 2. Automatic variables. 3. Preference variables. 14. Explain the array in PowerShell. Answer. An array in a PowerShell is a type of data structure which stores the collection of values in the single variable. 15. What is the function of get service status in PowerShell? Answer. The CMD lets of Windows enable you to filter the window services. PowerShell can list which services are running and which are stopped by scripting with Windows. Thank you.